Yeah. What was your experience here with women? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We'll have to edit that one out. So. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna edit this, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. so we will. No, no, but like, yeah. th these are gonna be good for the bloopers. Yeah, yeah good for the bloopers. All right, so we'll ready when you, when you, whenever you are. Hey, all the bloopers. Everybody, yeah. um, it's Andrew Austin here, and this is Mihailo, and we are here at Truhani Wall Street in um, Kiev, and um, I, th I think it makes sense to start with the introduction. Uh -huh. So tell us, Mihailo, um, how come you're here in Ukraine? How yeah. come you're Ukrainian musician? But like he's nice, ya jubu tut but kievi. Tomu show ya lublu vareniki za kartoplu yu smetana yu. I vishi vanki duja kruti stil. Ale ya hochu na stupna ho misiac do volvi. It's a nice location. Yeah, we were there recently. I got an album coming out. We've been promoting it around Ukraine now. And uh, there'll be seven songs in Ukrainian, but two songs in Russian as well. Tell us a little bit about it like uh, did you have any challenges what well, was your favorite well, what were your favorite parts about this album? yeah that's a good question challenges for, so for this first album I did all the recording myself mixing mastering things that I don't have experience in um, that would be the most challenging and also songwriting in a foreign not my native language would be difficult as well but it was very enjoyable because of this and I look forward to the presentation of it uh, my favorite part was actually when we went to Lutsk to visit your mother and she sat us down in front of the door and kept saying Deleka de Roja as we had a long journey ahead of us back to Kyiv. Um, and that is actually the name of the album, Deleka de Roja. Mm. So I owe that to Raya in Lutsk. Yeah, for props to Raya. Props, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I I'm really excited about it. What's your, so what's your favorite song on the album? Yeah, well the first song I wrote is called Oi Mamarina and I just love this song. So. Maybe this one, it's always my go-to. But as I said, this song, De Leca de Roja, has, has grew in importance to me, so I like this in the video. I've been enjoying making the music videos, that's what we're doing now, is editing these. And uh, this part of the process is really cool and it kind of shapes the way I view each song as well. Naodnu Nietzsche is uh, another one because of significance about my experience here <laughs> <laughs> with women in, in this city. Interesting. Um, yeah. What was your experience here with women? Uh, it's always a, a wild ride. And, um, For both parties. For both parties involved. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. And uh, yeah, now I'm just focusing on art and music as well. Cool. Um, yeah, so you have this new album going out. So what's next? Mm. Yeah, there's, we spent a lot of time in the West promoting for the album because most of it's in Ukrainian. But I haven't visited many cities in the east, so I think I'll go to like five or six new cities this next month, play some street music, maybe do some shows, and uh, continue the promotion of my music uh, career, and uh, and get back to painting, actually. I'm going to paint a mural for my friend's bar that's opening up here in Kyiv. Cool. Yeah, and I'm, I miss like focusing on painting, doing exhibitions, so I look forward to this. Do you know, do you have an, an idea what kind of cities you're going to? No, I think I'm going to choose them at random, maybe. Guys, <laughs> write down in the comments what city you want Mihailo to come to. That's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to it, though. Thanks, uh, Mihailo. Just... All of us really looking forward to your album. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to eat shashlik right we now. Have <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you.